Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm got a bit of a sore throat this week, but please ignore that. I uh, hope everyone's well. Hope you had a good week. And we're going to get into another spooky reaction video. This one's the Slapped Hams channel's video, Chilling Ghost Sightings Caught on Camera. Hopefully the good ones. Remember to pop by Slap Dam's channel and hit the sub button if you haven't already done so. The link is in the description. That would be very much appreciated. Please sub to my channel. Hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Even just an immortal do to generate any sort of engagement. Any feedback is appreciated. I am still quite new to all this and still learning. So it may be a benefit. Anything you think of, please put down below. Um, let's get the cans on and jump straight into this one, shall we? Let's hope it's a good one. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some super freaky video clips that no one can <laughs> quite explain. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. A peculiar image has been shared over on our Slaptam subreddit by user ZeroCoolGuy886. Captured surreptitiously inside an undisclosed movie theatre, the photo reveals something quite strange. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? The OP says that this image was captured by a co-worker who was taking some quick snaps before the movie started. Although the image is blurry, the kid on the left looks relatively normal, yet the other figure is clearly not quite right. Bizarre. So what do you think is going on here? Bones. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgement. Yeah, it's weird that, isn't it? You sort of see the outline of the bones and things through it, like a shroud. I don't know what you think. That is quite creepy. A chilling video shared on Facebook by a page called Alchemy of Fear has sparked renewed discussions on the existence of paranormal entities. For some time now, this family has suspected that their home might be haunted by a sinister presence. So much so, they reached out to a local pastor to come investigate the house. Once there, the priest begins flicking holy water around the home in a bid to rid the space of any negative energy. But take a look at what happens. It appears the cleansing ritual goes horribly wrong. With each viewing, the brief video prompts viewers to ponder the unknown and contemplate the thin veil between the mundane and the paranormal. As the internet buzzes with theories and conjecture, one can't help but wonder what's really going on here. I have seen a few of their clips before and they are sort of, I don't know, they feel quite genuine. The kid's reaction, the way he like, screams and runs away pretty much every time is like weird. Like, but there's so many clips of like so much happening, like the hair keeps flicking up and stuff moving across the bedroom and things like that. And some good stuff, to be honest. Um, I would like to think it is legit. Um, seems quite tricky to replicate the stuff like the mirrors and stuff moving there. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. An unsettling image captured in the dead of night has sparked debate among paranormal enthusiasts. The old lady. Shared by the Facebook group Ghosts of London, the photo taken by Luke Jackson has sent shivers down the spines of many. Jackson claims the image depicts the ghostly apparition of an elderly woman purportedly attempting to open a kitchen door in a Sheffield home in England. According to Jackson, the eerie encounter unfolded during a restless night at his brother Tom's residence in South Yorkshire. Awoken by inexplicable sounds echoing downstairs, Jackson grabbed his phone and ventured into the darkness, where he stumbled upon a perplexing sight. Illuminated by the faint glow of his device, the image captured reveals a faint figure positioned at the foot of the stairs. Despite the clarity of the photograph, skeptics remain wary of attributing the anomaly to supernatural forces. 
While the image undoubtedly evokes a sense of unease, conclusive evidence eludes those seeking answers. Without further context or corroborating evidence, the mystery surrounding this spectral visitor persists. It is quite a good photo. You can sort of see her arm looking like she's trying to open the door and the hair and the bun in and stuff. Shame I'm not on Facebook. I'd, I'd like to join their group, to be honest. I've had, seen quite a few videos and photos and things from Ghosts of London. I'd, I'd like to look more into that, to be honest. What do you guys think? I thought it was going to be 30 years drive again, but it wasn't. This eerie photograph, shared on Facebook by the American Institute of Metaphysics, initially appears Metaphysics. innocuous. A man seated on a couch in a living room. Yet, upon closer inspection, a disturbing anomaly emerges. Behind a ladder in the background, you can make out what appears to be a face. The photo was allegedly taken in a newly constructed house, suggesting no prior history of haunting or tragic events within its walls. Yet when the photo was taken, there were supposed to be only two people in the house, the man on the couch and the person holding the camera. So is this a fleeting glimpse at an intruder or something a little more mysterious? It could just be pareidolia, that one. I'm not entirely sure well, what's behind here, if it's a room or a counter with stuff behind it or... What do you guys think? A chilling story has surfaced over on our Slaptam subreddit shared by user Mongoose Capable, shedding light on a spooky encounter at the notorious Carlisle House in Auckland, New Zealand. The OP recounts their late night adventure into the heart of Carlisle House, an abandoned orphanage with a long history of mystery and tragedy. Unaware of the building's dark past, the group ventured inside, armed with cameras and curiosity, eager to explore its secrets. As they roamed the abandoned corridors, one of the OP's companions captured something eerie on camera. A transparent silhouette standing in a doorway. Their eerie experience didn't end there. As they exited the house, they heard strange sounds. A child's cry and murmurs echoing through the darkness. Despite initial scepticism, the group found themselves unnerved by the unexplained noises. The photograph of the apparition continues to puzzle both skeptics and believers. Could it be evidence of a ghostly presence lingering within Carlisle House? Or is there a rational explanation for the unsettling encounter? Again, it could just be Paradolia or one of the, their friends moving through quickly or whatever, because it's all quite blurry. Um, I say I'm not here to sort of debunk everything. I'm just trying to think of what the explanation could be if there is one. I'd rather there wasn't an explanation, to be honest, and it was legitimate. What do you guys think? With a history dating back to its days as the Costly Training Institute, Carlisle House has been the subject of numerous tales of tragedy and unrest. Rumour has it that in the early 1900s, numerous children died in a terrible fire on the property. Since then, locals have reported all kinds of eerie happenings like shadowy figures lurking on the grounds at night time and chilling screaming sounds emanating from the abandoned halls of the old building. Despite attempts to debunk its haunted reputation, the building's eerie atmosphere continues to captivate those who dare to explore its halls. As the OP's story spreads through our community, one question lingers. Could their encounter be evidence of a genuine ghostly presence? Or is there a logical explanation waiting to be discovered within the shadows of Carlisle House? Yeah, that was not what you think. Reportedly captured in 2008, this photograph originates from the grounds of a cottage situated near the Blackhead Lighthouse in County Antrim, Northern Ireland. Among the individuals present, the woman in the white top positioned on the right side of the image was among five occupants of the cottage, including the photographer. Remarkably, neither the photographer nor the individuals noticed the monk-like apparition at the time of the snapshot. 
Strange. Interestingly, upon returning to the cottage, the woman in the photo discovered that everyone except herself and the photographer remained indoors. The identity of the shadowy figure remains a complete mystery, as it doesn't correspond to any of the cottage's occupants. The timing of the photograph, taken after 11pm, discounts the possibility of a passerby, particularly as they would likely have been carrying a torch to light their way. The Blackhead Lighthouse, operational since 1902, stands sentinel at the northernmost point of Belfast Lock, guiding ships into the northern channel that separates Northern Ireland and Scotland. Notably, the lighthouse's beam once illuminated the path of the Titanic as it departed the Belfast shipyard. Speculation surrounds the identity of the dark figure, with some suggesting it may not be a monk, but rather the ghost of a former lighthouse attendant clad in a long winter coat. Regardless of its identity, the eerie presence captured in the photograph leaves a lasting impression possibly offering a glimpse into the realm of the supernatural, lingering in the memory of all those involved. Yeah, it seems to be, I don't know, it just seems to clip over the wall a touch, I don't know. But again, it is quite creepy to look at, to be honest. And if the claim there was nobody else there, all the more suspicious, what do you guys think? It could be a long call, but I don't know. The monk sounds more plausible, <laughs> if there is such a thing. Yeah, guys, there's some good stories there. I do like the stories. He does a lot of research and gives you quite a good backstory to some of the photos and things. Um. There was some creepy stuff in there. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Um, any feedback is appreciated. And hopefully we can have a discussion around it. Um, if you wouldn't mind subbing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up, hit the ring the bell uh, to get alerts for when other stuff, other videos go live and when I go live on a night. Um, if you want to come by my live streams and have a chat regarding this or any of my other videos, please feel free to do so. I look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.